What's up, y'all? And welcome to another episode of Herb's Blurbs. Come take this shot. Uh, it's Thursday, and you know what that means. Herb remembers. And with that being said, I thought, man, let me go back and remember one of the greatest... No, 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 scratch that. The greatest comedy ever created, hands down. The 1989 comedy, Harlem Nights. During the 1930s, a New York City illegal gambling house owner and his associates must deal with a strong competition, gangsters, and corrupt cops in order to stay in business. Sugar Ray is the owner of an illegal casino who contends with the pressures of vicious gangsters and corrupt policemen who want to see him go out of business. In a world of organized crime and police corruption in the 1930s, any dastardly trick is fair. Now, there are so many funny-ass scenes in this movie. I mean, it's really countless, but let's just break it down to four. You had Quick and Vera. Oh, come on, Vera. Don't you want to talk about that? I ain't got nothing to say. You done insulted me, and I got to kick your ass right now. And afterwards, I don't want no hard feelings either. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Ain't nothing wrong with me. What the fuck is wrong with you? You done accused me of stealing. The only thing I'm stealing out here today is your face. <laughs> you out of your fucking mind? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, sucker. Let's get it on. Oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight? Well then, come on, goddammit. You've been fucking me since I'm gonna I'm beat the shit out of your old ass in this motherfucker, too. Detective? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You're gonna punch people in their eyes, right? Right? Bitch? That all you got? Uh, yeah, you didn't think it was gonna be like that, right? And now I'm gonna blast your motherfucking teeth out. Nigga, you hit like a bitch. Oh, you're a little slower than you thought, ain't you, huh? Yeah, I punch like a bitch, huh? Okay, I punch like I punch like a bitch? You'll say goodnight to this bitch right now. You had the arguments between Benny and Vera? Benny, where's the hash? In the middle of the cabinet on the third shelf. That's not hash, it's tuna fish. Well, shit, make some tuna then. You got to do something about them eyes, Benny. You got my mouth all ready for hash and eggs, and you ain't got no hash. You can't keep fucking with me that way. Bitch, please. Oh, bitch, please, my ass. <laughs> Benny, why'd you put this orange juice in the refrigerator with just a swallow left in the container? Bear, why'd you leave me the hell alone? But that don't make no sense. You should have just finished it. Don't put it back in the refrigerator with just a swallow in the container. I get my mouth all set for some orange juice, and it's just a swallow in the container. Well, swallow it and shut the fuck up. You blind motherfucker. You fat bitch. Come to think of it, she argues with everybody and always telling people to kiss her ass. <laughs> you had Jack Jenkins with his stuttering ass. Hey, champ. What's going on? Hello, uh, is it a gentleman? A lady? How's everybody doing this evening? We doing fine, champ. You ready for next week? Uh, 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 ready? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, I'm having a lot of money on you, man. Well, uh, you, you, you uh, you getting ready to be a rich nigga, you see, cause, uh, cause, uh, come, uh, next, next week, I, uh, I, I'm knocking somebody the fuck out. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I understand now. Now that I think about it, that motherfucker is just like Mayweather. Oh yeah, and who could forget this funny ass scene right here? <laughs> Only way you're going home is shot, motherfucker. What the hell you think you're doing with that little shit? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Don't shoot that little motherfucker no more! Fuck this. Ah! 
to be able to have three comedy generations all together in one movie was simply amazing. You had Red Fox, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, and it just goes on and on. Now, there was talks about possibly making a sequel to this movie. In all honesty, I love Eddie Murphy, but for the love of God, please don't do this. I mean, I already have strong feelings about Coming to America 2, and that was one of my favorite movies. This one, don't make a sequel to this one. It's, it, you don't need to bring Kevin Hart and any other comedian, or nobody needs to come in and have a conversation about making a sequel to this movie. It's fine the way it is. It's always going to be funny. I can look at any scene in this movie and still laugh my ass off about it. Now, with that being said, guys, this movie is the funny, in my opinion, is the funniest movie ever. There are plenty of scenes in there, so be sure to go down in that comment section and tell me what your favorite scene was. And with that being said, thanks for watching Hers Blurbs. Be sure to like, share, subscribe on all social media platforms. And be sure to like, share, subscribe on Blurs and Whiskey and Sports and Whiskey as well. And as always, come take the shot. Peace.